Hello, we start discussion with another type of questions in general mental ability test which is based on alphabet and number pyramid. What we have discussed so far is some types of questions based on numbers, number series and arrangement of numbers and then some types of questions based on alphabets, typically alphabet series or group of alphabet series. Here we have got similar types of questions based on either alphabets or numbers. Right now what we have in front of us is alphabet pyramid and then question is we have to find out relationship between two groups, first two groups and then same relationship to be applied on third group to find out fourth group which will replace this question mark. So 1 is to 2 then 3 is to what? That is the type of question what we have to solve or ratio proportion type of question what we can call them. But that has to be solved with respect to this alphabet arrangement. So we need not bother A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, 2, Z. But what we are what is important to us is arrangement of those alphabets in this particular pyramid. Whether A comes after B or B comes after C is not important for us. But where A is placed in this particular alphabet pyramid and where is B and so on is very important for us. So let us try to find out how to solve this particular question. So if this question was given to me without this pyramid for my reference, I would have thought about series of these 5 numbers, series of these 5 alphabets and so on. But I will not do that. I will try to locate these 5 alphabets close to each other within this pyramid now. So A, X, B, C, Y. So I know that A appears two times in this alphabet series once over here and once over here so I can start with either this A or this A but next number next alphabet is X so X is nowhere close to this A but X is close to this A so I start with this A go to X next is B very easy next is C and next is Y. So I got this particular sequence of num alphabets. I go to second one again M, N. So M appears again two times in this alphabet pyramid once over here, once over here. Now it is M, N. So M, N. But there is no L close to this N anywhere. I try with this M. So M, N, L I can find. So it must be this M to start with. M, N, L. Next is K over here. And next is G over here. So what is similarity between these two groups is their mirror images of each other. So if I imagine my mirror to be exactly on the central line of this pyramid passing through S, K, U, W, Q, C, G these are mirror images of each other A and M are mirror images of each other B and L are mirror images of each other and so on so what I understand is the relationship between group 1 and group 2 is of mirror image relationship so now I look for group 3 I take mirror image of that either on this side or on this side whatever it is and that will be my answer so I find out third group which starts with D Again D appears on two locations, once over here, once over here, but no A close to this D, A close to this D, so it should be this D to start with, D, A, E, F and B. So third group is very much similar to first group, just shifted by three letters on right hand side, so the now mirror image. D, D's mirror image on right hand side should start with Z. You can imagine this mirror passing through G. D is third alphabet from G. Again Z is third alphabet on right hand side. So it should start with Z. It comes to E, goes to I, goes to H and goes to D. So this is my answer. My answer will be, I will write. Z, E, I, I 
H D. So what I did, I found out relationship between first and second group. It was mirror image relationship. I found out third group. I made mirror image of that, and that is my answer. So just look at these alphabets without reference of this pyramid. It is not easy, or it is not possible to find out any logic between them. So it is always important that question is to be solved with reference to this pyramid. That is the only difference, and rather finding the finding out answer becomes very easy. Now <coughs> let me erase these marks so that we can solve question number two. So everybody can think about question number two before I start discussing. so now on similar lines let us try to find out group number 1 in question number 2 it starts with k t so k appears over here and then k appears over here now it is k t no t close to this k but it is k t so i am sure it should start with this k k t l u and v so 1. to be noted is two consecutive letters in each group they are generally close to each other they are either vertically close horizontally close or diagonally close so note that it cannot be this k and then this t it is very very rare case generally not there in common questions so on same lines let us find out question number 2 it starts with p so p is over here or p is over here we need to identify so p it starts with q so p q is over here q is also over here so we need to think about j now so j is here but no j close to this q just look at it observe it no j close to this q although p and q are here so it should be always this p to start with so p q j R K. Okay, so what you can guess from this particular arrangement is, again, this group is mirror image of this group, looking by the green line marks what I have made. But the only difference is the order of letters is reversed. Ideally, mirror image of first group K T L U V should be K R J Q P. it is in reverse order so minor change question becomes different so let us quickly solve this u l v m n so u is over here another u let us try to find out where is that u is there a one more u okay so there is u appears only once so we start with this u there should be one more u in this question that's what i guess So that <coughs> once u is over here, is there any other u? U yes. Two u's are very close. That's why I was not able to find them. So either I can start with this u or I can start with this u. Now it is going to be slightly difficult. So let us think. U L U L. Now V. Okay. M and N. Now M and N. so either i can go like this so now i made it with white u l v m n or i can also start with u l v m and n so either this u or this u that i need to find out from the answers so if i start with this u i again start with same u so my answer will be u Z T I N H, but obviously I have to write them in reverse order. So I write them in reverse order as H I T Z and U. Obviously, 
this answer should be there in alternatives then only I can write otherwise if I take this u to be over here then instead of u at the end my answer will be replaced with q at the end so instead of this q u I can write q also so one of the answers should be there in alternatives so type of questions very easy locate the particular group locate the second group find out relationship most of the time it is either mirror image or translations horizontally translation vertically only three choices are available normally or obviously translation diagonally very rare case and then find out similar relationship between group 3 and identify group 4 based on same relationship so here is a number pyramid similar to alphabet pyramid what we had earlier now again same logic think of group of these numbers first group second group third group fourth number to be fourth group to be found out now the only difference only additional difficulty what we have now is just count the numbers over here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 4 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we have got 6 numbers over here, 8 numbers over here. Again, there are 8 numbers over here. So earlier, number of alphabets in each group was same, so it was easy to find out that relationship. Here, number of numbers in each group is not constant. Why it is not constant is very easy to understand. Is we need to identify or we need to segregate this complete large number it can be either 7 1 3 9 1 5 or it can be 71 39 15 or it can be 7 13 9 15 and so on so we can do many number of permutation and combination only what we need to found think is largest number in this alphabet uh, number pyramid is 49 so any number beyond 49 like 71 cannot be on this pyramid so 71 is definitely not there so now i am sure that it is 7 so i can locate where 7 is normally in number pyramid you can find out a particular number only once so i know that 7 is over here now it is easy to identify whether it is 1 or it, whether it is 13 right so let us look around 7 so 1 is nowhere close but 13 is close so now I mark now again question is whether it is 9 or 91 91 is not there so it is always 9 where is that 9 ok here it is so now the question is either it can be 1 and 5 or it can be 15 so look around 9 1 is not close but 15 is close so it is 15 so it is zigzag type of arrangement 7 13 9 15 now here it is not a difficulty because there are 8 digits I have to divide them into 4 groups so necessarily it can be first two numbers together second two numbers together and so on so it starts with 18 26 20 28 so let us find out where is that 18 so here it is 18 26 20 28 so what i find is i have just shifted the first group by two places towards right hand side i get the second group now i will find out third group it starts with 31 very easy 37 33 39 so same logic shift it by two places on right hand side i get answer immediately 40 44 42 46 so my answer will become 40 44 42 46 so this is my correct answer so the question is not difficult only first step is difficult to identify 
how the numbers are whether it is 713 or 7139 or 7139 and so on so once you identify that further process is very much similar to what we did in alphabet pyramid let us try to solve one more question to get ideas more clear so again you can count number of digits over here 6 8 digits in this group so we need to identify where this is 48 or whether this is 4 8 14 20 and so on so we have to do some trials now if it is a 48 you reach which is over here one or 14 both of them are nowhere close to this 48 so this cannot be 48 to start with so let me try with 4 so where is 4 4 is somewhere over here now 81 is not possible in our pyramid because we know largest number is 49 so it should be 8 so where is 8 okay so 4 8 now it is very easy 14 is close so let me erase the first question marks so we will not get confused okay so now this 4 8 is close and then again 20 is close so i found out first group which was most difficult task for me now finding out second group is not very difficult it starts with 41 37 33 27 27 again it is like mirror image of each other but now it is not the central line which is mirror but mirror should be placed somewhere over here but they are like mirror images of each other so now i will find out third group which starts with 591 so 91 definitely is not there 59 is not there so it should be 5915 and 21 so 5915 21 so how to start with the last group definitely is with 42 4 5 41 42 or again mirror image logic so it should be 42 38 34 28 so my answer will be 42 38 34 and 28 see the only difference between alphabet pyramid and number pyramid is to identify the exact number so 7 or 71 13 or 139 and so on so once you identify that it is rather easy to solve number pyramid because generally a single number a specific number will appear only once in alphabet pyramid a might appear two or three times in a given pyramid same with b same with c and so on so it difficult is it becomes difficult to identify which a is to be taken or which b is to be taken this thing will not happen in case of number pyramid so i hope now everybody is clear with how to solve this type of question so we stop here and then we discuss some new types of question in next session